It seems like every time I check YouTube these days, there is another creator talking about stepping away from the platform for a break, or maybe even quitting the platform entirely. No matter the reason for wanting to do so, I think it's a good thing. These people recognized that there was a problem with how they were conducting the work, and that something needed to change before they reached burnout. It's funny because as I see many of these established YouTubers stepping away from what I thought was the green career, I'm just now getting my feet wet as a nearly four-year-old YouTube creator. Now, Marquez Bradley, aka MKBHD, just posted a video about this topic, and it caught me off guard because you don't really see these types of videos on his tech channel. To sum up what MKBHD said, he talks about how even though being a YouTuber is a dream job, it's still considered a job. He uses many different analogies to explain how if one wants to turn YouTube from a hobby to something professional, there is a certain level of dedication, talent, strategy, and luck for it to happen. He talks about how when people first become a YouTuber, it's the funnest time because all you have to do at the beginning is create. However, as you start to experience some success and maybe even if your team starts to grow, your time slowly gets taken away from that creative process that you love so much. He ends the video by talking about how these long-term YouTubers may not actually be quitting the platform entirely, but what we're seeing is them searching for and rediscovering the very thing that made them want to become a creative in the first place. The reason why I'm making this video is because for the longest time, I've wanted to become a full-time tech YouTuber. The one constant in my life from my teens, 20s, 30s, and even now as a 39-year-old is my love for technology and how it can improve our lives. However, a very comfortable, high-paying day job kept me from going after this dream for many years. As time passed, this dream never really went away. In fact, I think the dream got stronger as the years came. Reaching certain life milestones, such as getting married or buying our first house, didn't really do anything to make me want to leave my comfortable, high-paying job and go after my dream. However, having kids sure did. There's something about having kids and wanting the best life for them that changes your perspective on many things in life. One of those things is work and how you want to spend a third of your day. Having kids made me realize that, one, I want a job that allowed me to have full flexibility with my time and not require permission for days off. Two, I wanted a job that could be done from any location in the world. Three, I wanted a job doing something I was passionate about and energized me rather than drain me at the end of the day. And four, I wanted a job that allowed me to create something that could have an impact on a lot of people. That old dream of being a full-time tech YouTuber seemed to check all the boxes. Now, after the birth of my second daughter and while on paternity leave, I saw that there was a very narrow window of time where I could possibly go 100% into this YouTube thing and see where it takes me. And if things didn't work out within this time window, I could go back to my old career with very little negative impact. However, if I was able to turn this hobby into a professional job, well then, that would be the dream. It was a calculated risk and one worth taking. I mean, how can you teach your kids to dream big when you don't even go after your own dreams, right? Turning 39 felt like a good time to make a hard pivot and go after something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Maybe this is what they call a middle age crisis, I don't really know. All I know is that for the first time in a long time, I feel like my life compass is finally headed in the right direction. Wish me luck.